All brake trailers have a rod running, running from the coupling. Uh, as you brake, the rod is pulled forwards, which then pulls the main body. Uh, it can just pull one end for a single axle trailer and it's allowed to pivot like so, so that it pulls with an equal amount of force on each cable. This is on a twin axle trailer and it allows it to uh, pivot this like this between the two sides and each side can also pivot. Um, this is where most people get it wrong and tighten the uh, compensator up to adjust brakes. Uh, it is the last thing you do once you've adjusted the wheels um, but it can be used to adjust brakes. I personally don't like this uh, compensator. The reason for this is you have a flat nut on a flat face there and it restricts the movement this way on the, cable, on the uh, expander. Also with the bolt running through these ends they can seize up quite often. Uh, I'm going to change this one uh, to a knot one which works far better. First of all the locking nuts on the brake cables need cracking. This is simple enough to do. Then on the back of the brake cable there's a square. If you just hold that with a pair of grips then the nuts can be spun off. compensator that can then be moved forwards and there's a locking nut. Uh, I've already cracked this so that we had movement on the coupling. This needs removing. To remove it on this particular trailer the, the rod goes through there, there isn't enough movement on there so I've already cracked the bolt on the front of the coupling. The rod can be unscrewed from the coupling and these can be removed or the nut on the front of the rod can be removed. This is the knot pronto uh, compensator. It works the best on the market and can sort a fair few brake problems out. The first bit that's required is the main balance bar. This will replace the old compensator and it goes with the dome at the back. The, the nut used on the old compensator has a domed nut. There is one in the package but as this is all free and in good order we're going to reuse that. This slides on and the locking nut for the coupling needs feeding back on. That is then fed through there and reattached to the coupling. After that there are two bolts with domed nuts. These are threaded through the outside edge. The smaller balance bars are fitted again using a domed nut.
Once the dome nut's screwed on, there is a nylon nut that goes behind. The first one was a bit sticky, so I'm just going to use tools to tighten that. The nylock nuts put on, then wind it onto the thread so that there's a minimum of 5mm of thread stuck out the end of the nut. Repeat on the other side. trying to get them both an equal amount on. Back the dome nut up to the nylocks. And then lock the two nuts together. Then the smaller balance bars go onto the brake cables for dome nuts are then threaded onto the cable and then four nylock nuts are threaded on the front as locking nuts. Again, making sure that there's a few mil of thread stuck out the front of the nylock. All four locking nuts then need locking together with the domed nuts. Those were already fairly tight as I'd run the nut up. Then this compensator needs pulling forward and the rod needs running back and the dome nut needs moving down the rod till it touches the back of the compensator. Unfortunately this not being a new threaded rod it's not moving too well. As this one's so stiff I'm just oiling it up. I've just backed the rod off as the rod's loose and I'm using the rod to spin it on uh, I'll have been unscrewing the nut out of the front of the compensator. Keep checking for movement. Once there's very little movement like this, the rod should be set up correctly. Then move to the front of the trailer and pull the handbrake on. Once the handbrake is set at the correct angle, uh, and it's all working correctly then get the center bolt wind it up to uh, the dome nut and then using two 17 mil spanners lock these nuts together this will allow everything to pivot correctly. Uh, it works far better than the other compensator that was fitted as everything uses domed nuts as you can see in there and it allows a lot more articulation between the two cables and between the left and the right hand side or the front and the rear axle depending on how it's been set up. 
this can cure a lot of problems with brakes not acting in the way that they should act. And this is why we always use this compensator as any fit we do on any trailers that we do maintenance on.